Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of a game that many of us played on the Atari, but this is the Intellivision version of Activision's classic, Pitfall! Exclamation point. Otherwise it would just be Pitfall. But this is Pitfall! Pitfall, 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 Pitfall. Let's go! Fall into pits. You can't defeat me, log. I am Pitfall Harry, one of the 80s video game TV friends. Remember that? It was like me and Donkey Kong and Pac-Man all hanging out with q -Bert. That guy was fun. He swore like a sailor though. Ow. I had to look that show up. It's been a long time since I've seen it. It was called Saturday Supercade, and Pitfall Harry was on it for at least an episode or two. Because Pitfall was one of the big games from the early 80s, even though it wasn't an arcade game. Pitfall made its debut on the Atari 2600. It was released in 1982 from Activision by brilliant programmer David Crane. Oh, come on! Pitfall was so popular, it was released to pretty much every game system back in the day, including the Intellivision. That's the version we're watching here. Come on, logs. While I frequently meet a horrible end by falling into pits, being killed by scorpions, or drowning, I always felt like the game should have been called Alligator Feeding Frenzy. Oh, we Which has always been the hardest part for me, jumping over these damn alligators. Made even more challenging by the awkward Intellivision controller. This is pretty much the same version of the game that you would get with the Atari 2600, or for the Atari 2600, except you can't play it with the Sega Genesis controller. I blame the controller, not me. The jump button is on the side here. Prepare for some thumb injuries while playing Pitfall. A ring and a pit. Watch the pit. Get the ring. Which is this brilliant classic game, but to be honest, not one of my favorites these days. Jump the fire. It's a block of titanium. What is that? 3,000 points is what it is. I greatly prefer Pitfall 2, but I love this for a feeling of nostalgia because I loved Pitfall when I was a kid. I don't think I really understood the game, I just enjoyed it. Yes! Unlike most of the games from this time period, you're not scored for jumping things or shooting things, you're scored for collecting treasure. And there's 32 pieces of treasure in total. Good luck collecting them all within the time limit. Pitfall is tough. I'm gonna pawn that ring as fast as I can. Quick! To the internet! It's hard enough just to stay alive. Let alone get everything, you'll have to actually figure out some system with those tunnels. I, I never actually did it. I always liked the game from the swinging and jumping standpoint, but that was really about it. It's not quite as impressive on the Intellivision as it is on the Atari 2600. This was really advanced for the 2600. But it's still a great game, and if you're collecting for the Intellivision, you should most certainly have this in your collection. It won't cost very much. Ah, uh, it's the alligators again. You guys stand very carefully on their eyeballs. That way they can't see you. <laughs> that, that is true, there's a system to jumping over alligators. And I guess there is a perfect score that you can get in this game, although I don't know who could actually jump all these logs without losing at least some points. Pitfall is it, its just a menacing game when you really Let's get down go. to it. Get more money! <laughs> Woo! And I had one good game, but my recorder was on the fritz, so... Here, th this proves that I can at least make it over a few alligators. 
You think he would be concerned about the opening and closing water sphincters? Pitfall went on to spawn many sequels, some of them really good, and it's a classic game definitely worth playing, although in my opinion not with the awkward and television controller. Stick with the Atari version unless you're a diehard and television fanboy or fangirl, in which case you get a perfectly good version of Pitfall for the mighty in television. Can't he swim? Is that it? Pitfall Harry was killed by a puddle of water. This is absurd. I was led to believe that he's a tough adventurer. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. <laughs> Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. <laughs> Introducing Michael Fernandez. Oh, yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim. Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal. Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again! Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max! Ohad Kane! Cue the Thunder! Jeff Captain Dauntless! Briar! Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Chip! Sink Bail! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip! Sink Bail! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.